Yes, sir. I wondered, um, so it's, to me, a lot of the incongruity that, that, <coughs> that exists now, that is giving rise to a lot of crisis of faith and doubt situations, seems to be caused, um, in, in, my, in my view, by, by the disparity between the dominant narrative, the dominant, what I would call the orthodox narrative, which is what we learn as missionaries, what we teach you know, investigators, what we learn in Sunday school, and then as you get older, you kind of start to experience Mormonism in, in different ways. And those ways become um, very important to you and dear to you, but sometimes they may not they may not jive with some of the elements of the Orthodox narrative. And so <clears throat> what I'm wondering is like in your view, do you see room within Mormonism for several different narratives, multiple narratives of a religious experience? Or do you think that in order for the church to remain strong, they would have to hold to that dominant narrative? I think for the church to remain strong, it has to reconstruct its narrative. The dominant narrative is not true. It can't be sustained. So the church has to absorb all this new information, or it'll be on very shaky grounds, and that's what it's, it's trying to do. And it'll be a strain for a lot of people, uh, older people especially, but I think, I think it has to change. 